Welcome to IT Revision Hub. Today I am going to show you how to create a site-to-site -site VPN tunnel between two 48 devices that is 48.1 and 48.2. Here I will be using a router in order to imitate the internet. In the 48.1 WAN interface has 172.16.10 dot one interface and on the other hand 482 consists of 192.168.99.1 as its WAN port that is port 4. Now we are going to connect these LAN 1 and LAN 2 using a side to side VPN tunnel. Side to side VPN also known as LAN to LAN VPN. A simple site to site VPN involves two peers communicating directly located at different locations like LAN 1 and LAN 2 in this network diagram. Before that, we'll see what is a IPsec tunnel. IPsec is a vendor neutral set of standard protocol. This is used to join two physical distinct LANs. It usually provides Authentication, data integrity, and data encryption. Data integrity means tamper proof. That means no one can intercept the communication between 248 devices. Data encryption means to make sure only the intended recipient can read the message. Now we'll go to the lab session. Before that, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please press the subscribe button below and press the bell icon in order to get the notifications of my latest video updated. At first, we try to create a side-to-side -side VPN tunnel using the IPsec wizard. First, we'll go to Portigate Firewall 1. This is the Portigate Firewall 1. Here, you can see the interfaces. Port 2 is the LAN port and port 4 is the uplink. That means WAN port. From this WAN port, we are able to ping the FortiGate 2 WAN port. That means the connectivity between FortiGate 1 and 2 is established. Here we imitate the internet using this route. Now we'll try to create an IPsec VPN between these two FortiGate devices. First, we'll go to FortiGate 1. To configure a side to side VPN, first we need to create an IPsec VPN that is using IPsec tunnel. We'll go create IPC tunnel. We'll use side to side VPN. This is 40 gate one device. The other one is 40 gate two. Then 40 gate one to 40 gate two. Here we'll select side to side VPN using the desired. Now we'll click next. After that, we have to create the remote network IP. Remote IP is according to this diagram. I am configuring this 48.1. The remote IP is 192.168.99.1. This is the IP. Outgoing port interface is port 4. It is all automatically selected. We'll create a pre shared key admin at 123. We can type it here. Now we'll go to next. Here, this is called policy and routing. At this stage, a uh, firewall policy and static route will be added using this wizard. So, local port is port 2, the LAN side, the subnet is 192.168.1.0. If there's any other subnets we can add using this this plus symbol and remote end we know 10.13.250.0 10.13.250.0 0 slash 24 is the subnet if there's any other subnets we can press this plus internet access i will keep as it is none and now i will click this create button now you can see the ipsec tunnel is created these are the configuration we made now we'll go and see routing section 
what are the routes already added? These are the two routes already added. Default route is via the WAN port that is 172.16.10.2 that is the router interface 172.16.10.2 Next we will go and see what are the policies. These are the two policies which are added by the IPsec wizard. Now the configuration part porticate one side is finished. Now we'll go to the LAN 2 that means FortiGate 2 firewall. Before I configure the FortiGate 2 I will show you the existing routes, static routes. These are the existing static routes. This is the default route having gateway IP 192.168.99.2 Here you can see the interface IP is 99.1 and this IP is 99.2 Also I will show the existing policies Here there are no policies except the implicit deny policy So now we will go to the IPsec VPN tunnel Now we will go and create the IPsec VPN We will go to the IPsec VPN section We will press create new IPsec tunnel And select side to side And we will give a name here we will be using the wizard. Wizard contains of three steps. VPN setup, authentication, policy and routing. Now we will press next. Here remote IP. Remote IP is the 172.16.10.1 Here port 4 is automatically selected. Now we will see pre-shared key is admin at 123. I will be using the same password. Here both sides need to have same pre-shared key. Now I will press next. Here this is the place where local subnets are configured. Here 1013.254.0 slash 24 is the LAN side IP block of FortiGate 2. Here you can see this is the LAN 2 and remote side IP 192.168.1.0. Now I will press this create button and IPsec tunnel will be created. This is the summary of the IPsec tunnel which we have created already. Now we will go to the monitor and we will try to bring the IPsec tunnel up here. Press all face. Here you can see that IPsec tunnel is up but there is no incoming data and outgoing data. Let's go to the command terminal and we will try to ping the LAN 2. Here I am already in the LAN 1 and we will try to ping LAN 2 that is 1013.250.2 This is the LAN 2 machine. Here you can see it is pinging. Now we will go and see whether there is incoming and outgoing traffic. Here you can see incoming and outgoing traffic. At the same time we can go to LAN 2 and we will try to ping 192.168.1.0 Now I am in the LAN 2 side that means 482 and we will try to ping 192.168.1.2 This is the LAN 1 PC Here you can see we can ping either side from LAN 1 to LAN 2 Now I have completed the configuration of side to side VPN using side to side IPsec wizard. I think now you have an idea of creating a side to side VPN using IPsec wizard. In my next video, I will show you how to configure a side to side VPN in custom mode. That means without using the IPsec wizard. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please press the subscribe button below and press the bell icon in order to get the notifications of my latest video updates. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.